Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony Special with Hawkeye Traders. I just want to wish you a happy Monday. Uh, a couple things I'd like to discuss today, uh, but first, before we jump into that, uh, just briefly, I just want to let you guys know, on, uh, you know, unfortunately, no, nothing here is uh, real life advice. This is just demonstration purposes. We're, we're teaching you something, uh, teaching you how our indicators work and how it can benefit you moving forward. Uh, but please do not take any of what I'm sharing with you today as financial advice. Uh, you know, with that said, I, today I want to talk about the three major United States indices, the, the Dow, Dow Jones Industrial, NASDAQ 100, and the S&P 500. And I want to take a look at each one of them. And I want to decide, you know, I want to show you guys what I see uh, and why one stands out as the better trade among the other two. So let's, let's jump into that real quick. So here's a picture of the Dow. Uh, you know, we just had recently, in the beginning of August, we had another long opportunity. But when that long opportunity was presented, if we take a look over here at the uh, daily chart, you're going to see right there at 27,285, we had a, had a great clean entry for a long. Um, but if we pop over here to the weekly chart, while that was happening, that was, you know, in supply. So we didn't, you know, really wasn't the most ideal time to take a position. Uh, and anyone who's in the Dow right now for a long position, take a look, you know, where things stand. We're really just about touching the target at 28,520. Um, looking at the monthly chart, same thing. We're in supply. Uh, you know, it's really just not a super clean trade. Well, you know, it, it did work out and, and it's just about a break even. It, it still really was not as, as nice as it could have been. Uh, you know, jumping into the NASDAQ, now this, if I had to pick one out of the three, this is the one that I would pick, and I'll, I'm going to show you why. Um, you know, looking back, similar time, right at the beginning of August, on the daily chart here, we, uh, you know, we got a clean entry here, it looks like 10, 8, 90, 50. Um, if we take a peek over here at the weekly chart, we see nothing but demand. Uh, there's no supply interrupting it. You know, while the mark, NASDAQ is making, uh, NASDAQ market is making clearly new highs, um, the sky's the limit at this point. There is no, you know, there is no reserve somewhere where it looks like there might be uh, some supply issue. You know, we're just building consistent demand zones from, from the bottom left of the chart to the top right of the chart. Uh, same thing here looking at the monthly chart. There's really nothing stopping this thing from keeping climbing. So, you know, this was the picture perfect ideal uh, entry point. This was also the picture perfect opportunity to, to take a long position with very minimum risk. I mean, these tools give you crystal clear entry, crystal clear management. Um, you know, so this this is my pick. The NASDAQ is definitely the, the, the indice that is, is working the best for us as traders. Um, you know, this was all clear. You know for takeoff and it, and it still is taking off um you know there is no near end in sight so you know while i, I wouldn't recommend jumping in at this point you can look back and say you know what this this met all the criteria to enter the trade we jump over to the s p and we start to see what looks similar to to the dow jones um you know we had an entry at 32.51.25 but if we look over at the weekly chart, we saw that, you know, previously we were sitting in uh, supply at that time. So it really wasn't the ideal trade. There was just, you know, some red flags. Um, same thing on the monthly chart. We, you know, at the time of the trade entry, we were sitting in supply. Guys, we really want to, you know, use our indicators to, to their maximum capacity and, and get a feel for what the market's doing. Um and when everything lines up, that's the opportunity to trade, you know, and you could see how I just showed you on all three of these different charts, how we can find the, the trade that makes the most sense. Um, you know, I, I, I found this on the internet and I thought it was pretty, it resonated pretty well. I mean, this has to look familiar to you guys. You know, you took your short, you had your target, you jumped out, you, you jumped ship before it had an opportunity to really fill, to fill, um, at least to reach the target that you had suspected. Guys, with the right tools this becomes much easier to do. Uh, you know, and us here at Hawkeye, we bring to you the entry, we bring to you the stop management, we bring you the target management. Um, it, we're a full circle company with a full circle suite of indicators that, that take the guesswork out of trading. And that really in itself is invaluable. Uh, this was a, a quote I saw and, and, and I just, it resonated with me also, so I, I thought I'd share it with you. You know, behind every successful man, there's a lot of unsuccessful years. Let me tell you something. 
Guys, I went down a long, bumpy road before I became the successful trader I am today. Uh, and I'm sure many of you can re that resonates with also. So I just want to share this with you. Don't be discouraged. Use the right tools. Find the right methodology. You know, follow somebody who's already been successful. And, and I promise you, you will find a much more painless process as the time, you know, moves forward for you. With that, I just want to wish you guys a great week. Happy Monday. Uh, you know, have a successful day. Have a successful week and make it a profitable one. Thanks so much and God bless.